Actually All right. Got here. up at 12, 14. Michael just made 3,500 bucks. Way to go, Michael. Nice, Mikey. He's also <laughs> leveled up. He's going to be running. He's going to be running my, uh, one of nice. my garages. All right. All let's right, get folks, you. let's get out and take a look at our load. Here we are. Um, this is Grangeville. Luckily, we were able to reach Grangeville. It is at the end of 65 North as you're heading up to Sandbridge, Idaho. And that's a long stretch without anything, folks. So <laughs> if you're driving that stretch, <laughs> make sure you are well rested. So let's see where we're at here. Yeah, we're, we're almost there. We got to get this to the Deep Grove. I'm going to Deep Grove too. I'm going to say the one in Sandpoint, Idaho. It's got to be there between 4.45 p.m. and 11.25 p.m. And it's already 12.16 p.m. So I'm going, I'm going to Klamath Falls. Klamath Falls? I refuse Klamath. to go there. Klamath Falls. Oh. Um, let's jump in. Let's go ahead and release the drone. And we'll take a quick gander around uh, Grangeville. Nice little small town, farming community, as you can see. We've got uh, the type of place you'd expect to find the little red schoolhouse, you know? What's back uh, here? Oh, actually, they got a uh, farmer's barn. You can make pickups back here, even. Very cool. And then Grangeville has the uh, truck stop where we stopped. We got a trailer park over here. Oh, he's uh, they built like I said, they're building this hotel over by us or whatever. It's 90 degrees out now at 9:30 in the morning, and these guys are out there working. <laughs> now I got a viewer. Hey, viewer. A viewer? That's not fair. PJ Play. I got the oh, here's a nice mural here in Idaho. See, if you were over at PJ Play, you'd be able to see the really nice mural in Idaho. Yeah. <laughs> Something you don't uh, get here in Tonopah. Tonopah. So, uh, yeah, so this is downtown Grangeville, Idaho. You know, nice little thriving town. Quick loans. You can do quick loans over here. Instant <laughs> cash, fast service. They buy gold as well, so. Oh, it's, it's like a, a one pawn shop. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like a one-stop shop. <laughs> Handle all your financial needs okay so we're gonna get back over here we're gonna get back on the road uh -huh. <sighs> slow that drone down Oop. all right so get it back up in the cowl that's where it goes all right so let's light the light the fires and kick the tires what is it how's it go kick the tires and light the fires something like that we're gonna light things on fire and we're just gonna kick things that's what we're gonna do <laughs> all right so we're so spending the night right there. Emergency brake is off. We're gonna get back on the road here, folks, and we got a delivery to make. This is a long one. We started off in Fort Collins, Colorado, and we're making our way up to Sandpoint, Idaho. Sandpoint being the northernmost city you can get to. Ooh, this is the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way here. Can I go? If I go the wrong way, they're not gonna. Rested, right? Hmm. Oh, I gotta finish my trailer coupling. All right. <laughs> I I didn't couple my trailer. I, I uncoupled it to go fill up. I forgot a. It won't let me fill up. Launch it. All right, pull it out. Pull up too far. Where's the following key? To, okay. So, parking brake, stop the engine. I'm not resting. What? All right. I have jacked this thing up now because. All right, we're just going to take <laughs> off, folks. Obviously, it does bother it that I'm coming in from the wrong direction. I also just, I just, just rammed my load. Oops. That's at five. Okay, here we are. We're gonna go 
south and west. Oh, dang it. No, I hung up on this gas pump. This whole thing was just a mistake. 3.14 tomorrow, they expect me. Tomorrow? Am I going to need to spend the night again? Like, I get up there. I just spent the day in Slept for eight hours. Tinnipa's a nice place. Got some coffee. A little sandwich. Panini. A, a gas station panini. The best kind of panini. Smell like diesel. No right, shower. So I need to make a left. For some reason, they're not, not telling me which way to go here. Heading southeast. That's right. Shoot, I was going to look for... I'm gone. When I got the license plate and I changed it to B-Wolves, I was going to look for... I got the interior cab stuff. I was going to get a... Um, what's it called? Compass. Can you buy a compass? I really like to be able to see what direction I'm heading. I like that too. That is good. It's good. Yeah. Alright, so we're leaving Grangeville. we got to get uh, uh, 4 hours and 38 minutes from our destination now. Which should put us around 5 o'clock, which was well within our delivery range. So we should be okay. Let's go ahead and shut that down. Oop. Press buttons too many times. And that's what Please mind the speed. As you can hear, I'm traveling with Sky. She's my co-pilot. There's a deep grove here in Grangeville. Deep grove is everywhere. I almost forgot to turn my lights on. Deep grove is in all of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deep Groves is a little creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Deep Groves is watching. Deep Groves won't you. That's, that was a uh, cartoon years ago or a, a comic. Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah. Rocco the Wallaby used to work at Kindalamo. And their, their logo on the sign is We Own You. <laughs> <laughs> There was a time when that was fun. This guy's good. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's a little too close to home, a little too real. Okay, this guy wants to pass me. He's driving in the left lane like this is a two lane highway. Oh, now he's coming back in. I was going to say, don't I'll let say, him go. He's, uh, he's passed me uphill around a corner. I don't mind you going around me, guy. I understand. I'm going 45 and a 70. <laughs> okay, here he comes. All right, I'm off the gas. You got it. You got to. You got to show me you want it. There you go. There's a couple other. I got to do. Now that we have a little bit of time, too, I got to do the car mechanic simulator again. Yeah, I want to get my train mechanic simulator up. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have no idea. I have no preconceived idea of how trains work, so I want to learn, <laughs> which is why I got the, I got the game. Yeah. But I haven't, uh, I haven't even gotten loaded up yet. Oh, now this gets past me. I'm building around a corner. All right, I'm off the gas. But, dude, pretend like you got a V8 in there. I got night calls. I got Sherlock Holmes and the Devil's Daughter. I'm hoping to start one of them tomorrow. Very cool. At some point. All right, I'm standing on the pedal but then here. I got I gotta play with my brother-in-law later. You know how that is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> meanie brothers-in-laws. <laughs> oh, speed! Oh, there's a speed trap. As soon as I get up to speed, another park or something over here. Get ready to turn left. Oh, no. I almost smashed that car. Did you see oh, that? Oh my! You were on that curve. I also want to do a PC building simulator too. I'd like to start building out prototypes of what I might end up getting. I would too. I'd like to learn map. more about it. 
My friend Matt's asked if I could do some more on Flight Simulator so we could see that. I'd like to, be able a, to build a system where I could play Flight Simulator. Yeah. If I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm starting small. If I could just replace my processor, I will be very right. happy. Yeah. Uh oh, car coming. There we go. I didn't see that guy come up out of there. 55, he's got to be some windy roads. No, it's still over 50. I think I'm closing in on uh, Reno. Very cool. I can, I can bypass the way station. Thank you. Once killed a man in Reno. To watch him die. For That's snoring good. too loud. <laughs> For snoring too loud and to watch him die. <laughs> It didn't hurt that he owed me money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I just cheated him in cards. <laughs> Caution, please mind the speed. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. She is on me about that speed, huh? Observe fire restrictions. I guess we're driving right now. I got that voice from some Portuguese chick. Right. Interesting little RV campground. In the middle of the desert, south of Reno. Exit right. Why wouldn't you want to camp there? Right? Actually, I'm coming. Okay, so I'm. Maybe I'm not as close as I thought I was. I'm going north on 380, 395. I think that's where I dip into California for just a brief. I just kiss Cali. Punch it in the mouth and run. I was going to say, don't kiss Cali, you don't know where that mouth has been. <laughs> right. <laughs> Brush my teeth afterwards. With Barbasol. <laughs> have to remember to call your wife tomorrow and wish her happy Mother's Day. Yeah, same thing. I gotta gotta go through the list. Yeah. I, think I saw a sign for Yosemite. Did I cross? I didn't see any. I I always miss the state signs. Yeah. That is the one thing. I I still I got to admit I can't. I don't. For some reason, in the game, I can't read the signs as well as I do when I'm actually driving. Yeah. I don't. I don't know why that is. If that's a resolution thing, or oh, crap. Oh, crap. but it's like they seem to be unlegible until they get really like you're right on top of them. Yeah. Boy, that last turn was crazy. I was full on in the other lane. I didn't hit anything, but uh, that was a bit much. Carson City, okay, I'm coming I'm closing in on Carson City, I think. All right. Thanks for tuning in. If you were wondering where you were, we uh, start, I started up, I picked up, started up in uh, Flagstaff by my main office, or one of my offices, the one that Pete and I both share. Then I got, uh, I stopped at the Voltason in the next block, picked up 14,000 pounds of machine parts, as you can see there, 14,400, and we're going to the Klamath Falls Deep Grove. Caution, please mind the speed. Klamath Falls, U uh, Oregon. And I didn't know Caution, what Deep Grove was, speed. but Pete says they're uh, either wood processing or lumber or something. And apparently... The parts they needed were all the way down in Flagstaff. So this is going to this is going to pull me in like 36 grand or something like that. So this is going to be a nice a nice payday. And that's nothing like, to Snickers at. No, I liked your podcast where you're like talking about the one company like we appreciate their business and we especially appreciate their check. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 
Never underestimate the check. Right, <laughs> yeah. Pay the uh, bills. We are, we are heading downhill because I am flying up on this guy. And I, I'm not, please mind the speed. I don't have my cruise on or nothing. I just keep pumping the brake. And we're oh. still doing about 60. <laughs> yeah, when I'm going from Flagstaff to Oregon, it's I'm rarely off the cruise. <laughs> well, that was the first leg of this. I think we were going through Colorado, and it was like um, you get up to speed, like 65 or whatever, and you'd set it at 60, and then oh, and then on. it would drop like a rock. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I just here. looked down at my GPS and saw kind of a tight turn to come around. That's actually, yeah. I can go down that road. I'm starting to find a bunch of just roadways. I don't know where they go or what they lead to. It's just yeah. strange. And I want to take it, but I, I got a delivery to make and I got a load. I am not just, uh, if I just had my cab, I'd be going. Yeah. So what roadway is this? Carson City is the Where are we at? Oh, world map. I'm at South yeah, Carson. Yeah, we're on 95. City. 95 heading north. There's a, a ranch or something that you you literally can pull off and go down huh. down the road to. Yeah. In what state are you? Idaho. Nope. Oh. Yeah, I still haven't been to Idaho or Colorado. Can you believe that? Really? You haven't been really? to Colorado? I had no. Wow. Two states I've got accessible and I haven't been there yet. I could have taken I could have taken a load to Pocatello on this trip, but I um uh, Pocatello, Idaho, but I didn't uh, this one was thirty six thousand dollars. And I'd never been to Klamath Falls or yeah. that either, so that is another thing that uh that seems to be weighing on me too. It's not, I, I always want to go with the highest price. I always go with the highest price, unless I've been there before. And I, yeah, I'll, go to the, yeah. I'll go to the next highest price if I have never been there before. Yeah. That's yeah, why I am I, trying to go places I've been. Yeah, yeah. That's why I picked Sandpoint. Now, what's, what state did they release? I mean, am I behind the state on American Truck? No, Idaho, or Colorado, and then Idaho, I think, was the last one. Okay, so Wyoming's so, not out yet. Right, Wyoming hopefully comes out somewhat soon. Then Texas. That'll be fun. Yeah. Go from, like, Texas to Washington. <laughs> oh, I, I do want to get out to Wyoming. Get out to, like, Gillette. I got all the yeah. closing. Got family in Gillette. No, you got. You used to have family in Joliet. <laughs> yeah. Please mind the Sorry, I'm speeding again. I got a million of them. See. Yeah. This is why Tommy insists on us taking separate trucks. <laughs> All right. Oh, we are up here, brother. We are as Go close to here as we can be. Whoa. All right, I was up here before, and I must have taken a right because that roadway is yellow. Oh, you're you're in northern Idaho. Yeah. Caution. So you're like. Please mind the speed. Oh boy, I got more, more. speeding again. Uh oh, I remember I delivered a boat up here, Cordialine. Oh, Cordialine. Yeah, that's yeah, that's. Cordialine. Oh crap. That's what I said, Cordialine. <laughs> Caution. <laughs> they, Please mind the totally speed. Totally closed. Oh. What is the speed limit here, Sky? Oh. Quit yelling at me and help me out. Oh, I, I got totally. I'm, I'm near the, the exit 50 to Ely, and just north of Carson City, south of Reno, and they yeah, totally they closed off the highway. I had to exit, but it's just right by the bridge, so all I got to do is go down the exit ramp, go back up the other side, and I'm gone. Turn left. I was thinking, oh man, how long is this gonna take? Yeah. Can't see around my mirror there. Oh, what is that? Cordeline, they got a like a big eagle here. A big eagle statue. That's gotta be a beautiful place. Is it day or night now or it's day. It is uh four thirty seven in the afternoon. It's a beautiful? 
Yeah, I'm gonna jump out real quick and take a picture. Do it. Oop, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, I didn't do that either. I meant to do this. Photo mode. Six. 70 is the speed limit, all right. I'm gonna go 65, because I'm a truck. Kind of cruise on. Um, I'm night driving most of this thing. It's just past midnight where I'm at. And... Little little wide in my lane there. What's the sign say? Road work ahead. All right. Tap the brake. Drink, drive, lose. All right. Okay. Looks like we got a fifty-five. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. We're doing some highway construction here. All right. Working in the middle of the night, 12.30, just past midnight. Resume delivery. Taking up the whole street. It's a good part about passing construction around midnight. Coeur d'Alene? Is that what you said? Coeur d'Alene, yeah. You're just east of Spokane. Yeah, I am. I knew that. Big emergency, mm -hmm. dude. You saying I didn't know that? I knew that. Yeah. Spokane was where I was at when I was first telling you about the uh, hunter. And you said, "Yeah, I'll check that out." Needless Changed your say, life. I was gonna say. <laughs> It seems like. And we stretch a road, I believe. What's this going to be? 65. I'll go a little bit more than that. Elko, Sacramento, getting signs. This has got to be Reno here, right? Yeah, this is Reno. There's Reno at night. Some more casinos. Pretty beautiful night. Boy, there's spaghetti mess All on right. the highway. But I don't have to make a turn here. Keep running. I'd imagine there's a lot of people that have a garage set up in Reno. It's like kind of a... It's a busy town. Yeah, good location, northern, northern Nevada. It's a big state. Actually, it's not really northern much. It's kind of well, it's northwestern. Go straight on. But yeah, it is a big state. I've been driving for a while now. Nevada. I want to check my. All right, I'm halfway on the sleep thing. ETA Saturday 6:48 a.m. They need me. All right. I think they're about, well, I can't. Why can't I read this crap? They need me by Saturday. It's a recruitment center over there. 3:14 p.m. Oh, oh. There's one of those nice classic cars you were talking about, Pete. <laughs> I almost crashed into them. No, but I, I, I did have to pull into the, the opposite lane to avoid it. And the speed limit's 65, but for some reason here, oh, we got people turning right. I've already slowed down to 35 and a 65. Now that's dangerous. You don't do that. Not to me. I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna teach him a lesson. <laughs> Go get him, Tom. Yeah. Was 
count the bugs on my wind on my windscreen and my grill. California. Across the border. Yeah, we're not gonna be here long though. I think I got a train driving right right alongside me. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, a train sound cool. right now. Yeah. There we go, now it's starting to die off. Uh, oh, this is a windy little stretch of road. Slow down around there, that's for sure. Alright, yeah, so this is over, I gotta go to bed. We're making breakfast for Tina tomorrow. Yes, sir. I heard that, my friend, yeah. I'm gonna get this dropped off and this uh, segment will be over. We'll take a look at what we can do uh, up here in Sand Point, Idaho. Hey, they got Canadian flags over here. It's hmm. a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to be too welcoming. This guy here ridiculous. <laughs> Share a border. That's it. Yeah, yeah when you get on these, this, you know, this time, please mind speed. Uh, into this groove or a time where all of a sudden you're driving at night all the time. It's kind of like oh, I don't get to see all this scenery. I mean, it's yeah. I mean, that's one of the things I, I really do want to make a, a point of. Not that you can't ever do any night driving. I have discovered a new viewpoint. Where? Oh, it's coming up. Sandpoint discovered. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to do more driving during the day. Because, like you said, you get into a kind of a, almost a rhythm. And yeah. the next thing you know, you're constantly driving at night. You know? Yeah. It's like, I'm going to try and go up in here and get this viewpoint. See, if you were watching me and not Tom, uh, you'd see a few. Uh, yeah. Right here in Sam. I mean, I, that said, I do, I do like you know, the variety. I do. Yeah. Because driving at night, that's realistic. I mean, right. if you were actually driving, that actually might be, you know, preferable because you don't have to contend with so much of the daytime traffic. Viewpoint. The director, two of ten. Oh, look at this. Look at how beautiful this place is, huh? Oh, there's a broken down bus. You're ruining my viewpoint. <laughs> Trains, lots of water up there, lots of boats. Didn't, you wouldn't think that in Idaho, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, the Turtle End is right up by a big lake. Heading up to City Beach, Sand Creek, Sound of the South. Way up here in the north, huh? Yeah. I'm going to pull out my drone when I get there and we'll we'll take a look at Sandpoint. Very cool though. Yeah, very. Captain Seashell. Get yourself some seafood over there. Yeah. Train going by. I like this Sandpoint. Now let's get back on the road. Have my delivery to make. Don't you get a... You get a um... Achievement for going that that far north, don't you? I don't know. I think there's an achievement, like when you go to northern Idaho, that's like going north of whatever parallel. But I guess you would have seen it already. Maybe it's after I make the delivery. Yeah. Keep right and then turn right. You got it, Sky. Go around Keep this right way. and then turn right. Turn right. You got yes. the sky. Glass panel van. Okay, there we go. Alright, now I'm doing some city driving here through Sandpoint. Three o'clock in the morning. I feel like I've been on this stretch of road. Heading north out of Nevada into Oregon. In fact, I should see a sign, I think, soon. 
the way out of the whole sleep thing. Uh, I, ETA 652, it is 314. Shoot, I, I don't know if I can, if I can make the rest of this trip. But I do believe it starts getting pretty windy. We need this thing by... All right. Three something PM. Keep right and then turn right. Avalanche steel. Steel uh, mill up here. Huh. Right. Interesting, is that a... I guess it's not a place I can stop at, but that's pretty cool. I do remember that place. I remember seeing something to you when I passed it last time. So I've been on this road right here. Well, in the same direction. Go straight on. You got it, Sky. What time is it? 6.23 p.m., so we're starting to get a little late here. Although we have until almost midnight. Keep so. left, and then turn left. We got the arrow. Go, go, go. Nah, we're going to miss it. Turn uh, left. Sorry, Sky, we missed the arrow. Hmm. It was there, and then it was gone. Burgers, hot dog sandwiches, pizza, diner. Oh, that reminds me of when I used to watch before I, before I had the game. And I used to watch you play. Mm -hmm. And where were you? Irish pizza? You said something about Irish oh, yeah. pizza? <laughs> Irish pizza, yeah. Like, Irish pizza? What makes it Irish pizza? Is it and then you looked it up, right? Yeah. Uh, I try. I think I did. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't remember what it was, though. Like potatoes uh, on it? <laughs> I thought they threw maybe... Uh, but you're like, yeah, it's actually a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Corned beef on it or something. <laughs> Sun's starting to go down, getting to those uh, long shadows on the ground. Sun's going to be coming up out uh, here. 6.30 my time over here. Keep right, and then continue Look straight up. 4 a.m. 35. Go straight on. Walbert. Oh, they got a roundabout up here in Idaho. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Making the first exit on the roundabout. Exit now. Oh, tourists. I'm just cutting grass. <laughs> How do you take the first exit Caution. on a roundabout in an 18 wheeler? Give me a break. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. I can even left ask you. And then turn left. Redding. I'm heading off Turn towards left. Redding. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. I had to stop because uh, place is a real chicken. deal. You chicken. That's interesting. It's got. They now have um, light reflections inside yes, your windows. You know. Really? Have you seen that? No, I don't think. Yeah. I have. So as I'm looking out my left window, it's the, my left. window is reflecting lights from the right side. Huh. So there's stores on the right that have their lights, and I can see them in my window on the left. That's pretty I am detailed. at the Deep Grove Forest Products. That's what they are, Deep Grove Forest Products. There you go, pulp and paper. Appropriate for the region. Oh, there's also a uh, a rest stop. Over Finally, there. I may, we are here. I may pull into this rest stop here. Just stop. All right, let's hit enter. We're gonna go with the 90 XP. Of course we are, because we drive good. We good drive. Yes. Now where is it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was over this way, right?
coming through Camby. I'm gonna pull it into this gated area. That's why it's 90 XP. So it's easy, everybody would do it. <laughs> right. Klamath right, Falls. I'm seeing my first sign for Klamath Falls. coming up. What happens when the sun's coming up, Pete? <laughs> Why did that not... That seemed a little weird to me. Just not getting it turned enough. It smelled of dewy grass. It's 5.21 a.m. I am in eastern Oregon. 66 degrees out. Half a pack of gum. Wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Now what was that? The animal crossing. Oh, it's a it's a log. It was the log the guy was sitting on? <laughs> <laughs> Hatfield, Oregon here. Alright. Oh, welcome to Oregon. Now I'm in Oregon. There it is right there. And I gotta get close. Hatfield, Klamath Falls. And here's a train going by. Combine out doing the harvest to beat. 6.04 a.m. Guy gets to work early. It looks like he has soybeans too. I'm telling you, that soybeans are fetching the best price right now. <laughs> I'll bet. Soybeans, sunflowers. This guy's got sunflowers, I think. And um, what else? What was it? Soybeans, sunflowers, and oats were the things that were. You, know, you said no oats because we already done oats. Hmm. Oh, shoot. I know where to get our hay from. <laughs>
8 out of 14 I've bought so far. Never been to the nope. Plymouth Falls before. Really? Really? Never. You're jacking this up, man. Did I miss this? Oh, here, I got the arrow. How'd that happen? It just pulled up. I gotta get around that log, but then I gotta get, I gotta like hug that side of the thing. So I get over this way, right? And once I can clear this stupid, I want to go hard the other way. I'm trying to get that. See, now it's just going straight back. Why? That doesn't make sense to me. Why didn't it turn? Right on Lake Point Boulevard. There's another avalanche steel out here. Oh, yeah, it looks like avalanche is a place that you can pick up from. Yeah, they got scrap. Yeah, they do. Mountains of it. It's like an avalanche of steel. Get it? I get it. Scrap metaling is big in Klamath Falls. And Avalanche ain't the only outfit. I'm gonna need to sleep after this. What the heck is my load on? 68 degrees out, it's real nice. 45. I'm speeding on 45. I'm going not even 40. There's a nice old car. Oh yeah, here's the lumber. I was gonna say I saw this wood on the left. This is it. Deep grow forest products. Starting to get a little rain. Wow, have you been have you been to Klamath Falls? Uh, I think so. Have you been to the Deep Grove up here? I don't know. I've never seen a lumber operation like this. This is massive. Jeez. That's good, but not good enough. I'm going to try it one more time. I don't know how there's any trees left. <laughs> like their mission is to deforest the world. <laughs> Let's see. Well, they're they make excited. forest products. Yes, they do. And they make it out of forest. Going to take their sign out. They're going to need that. Ah, of course, of course. Alright, let's see. Here. This is... Should have gone around the other way. I'm going to go... i got to come around this and this. Couldn't tell the best way right. to come at this thing. Put it in oh, gear. No. Get back in the truck. We're going to roll up our window since it's raining. We'll take a look real quick. We got green on this side, we got green on that side, we got green all around. That's 
took us a while. We had to adjust. We were trying to come in the wrong way. I, you know, I should have thought it's always better to try and come in on the left side because easier to see out the window what you're doing. I was kind of going mm -hmm. on a wing and a prayer. But you get lulled into a false sense because you got that open section over there. But hey, buddy. wound up turning it around. We finally got it here. And we're going to go ahead and hit the T-bar and officially hand off this load to Deep Grove Forestry Products. Boom, there it is, decoupling, lowering the legs. All right, so we got an excellent. Funny that you're delivering to the same company I am. They're taking over, I just leveled up. So I took forklifts, we delivered them from Fort Collins to Sandpoint. We drove 1,344 miles. It took us 54 hours and 49 minutes and we consumed 228.4 gallons. The base reward, Tommy, for 1,344 miles is $42,202. Very nice. And 2,164 XP. Proficiency mm -hmm. bonus for being a level 24, I gained another 9,984 uh, 9, money. Mm -hmm. Long distance delivery bonus, skill rank 4, $8,320, 541 experience points. High value cargo bonus for a skill rank of 4 is $8,320, 389 experience points. Fragile cargo bonus for a skill rank four, 8,320, another 476 experience points. Trailer maneuvering bonus for the parking job, even though it took me too many tries. But, you know, eventually we got it in there. We got it perfect. So 90 XP. So we totaled out $77,146 for the trip and 3,660 experience points. We have leveled up to level 25 instructor. Ah. So we are now instructors, my friend. Instructor. Ooh, I get another experience point. And since we were in, we went, I go down. I started at hazardous cargo, moved down to fuel economy, went over fuel economy, back up to hazardous cargo, hazardous cargo down to fuel economy, then fuel economy back up to hazardous cargo. So now I'm going to start on my last. I'm at the fourth fourth tier of my heart hazardous cargo i'm picking a hazardous cargo i'm gonna go with flammable gas because i just leveled to 21. flammable gas yes flammable gas ah i'm getting uh toxic and infectious substances that sounds like fun <laughs> yes sir <laughs> I'm going to select that one and we will apply that. We got some new upgrades available for us. Freightliner, we got a hub cover, a 72 inch sleeper RR, uh, chassis long 6x4, 240 gallon chassis. Western Star. I don't think I have a Western Star either or a Mac. I really want that Mac. Peterbilt, I mean, uh, International. This is Peterbilt. Volvo and Kenworth. So there's our, those are our upgrades. Uh, trailer upgrades, just basically uh, hub covers. So, Boy. what do I got? I got uh, a Volvo, Lone an International Lone Star, and two Frontliner Cascadias. Let's take a look at the world map. Here we are yeah. in Sandpoint. Oop. I'm trying to see if this thing. Trying to get out of here without hitting anything, but where I can do this from a distance. You can hear wave station. What is that there? Is that another rest area there? There I uh, go. That's a gas station I think. with an overnight situation. Oh, I, I can't remember where I go out of here. Oh, I do but, take it right. All right. All right. I'm going to find a hotel, or actually, I'm stopping at a truck stop here in Klamath Falls. I think there's a, seems like there's a pretty big truck stop here. Spokane. Truck dealership. I, I, I like Spokane. It's a pretty looking city from what I got. Well, Sandpoint does not have, it's got rest areas, but there's no garage and there's no, um, 
dealership or anything. So um, I'm debating whether I should make the trip down to Coeur d'Alene because they have a they have a garage and a recruitment center, and I could just go ahead and buy that garage and then stay yeah. there. But then that moves me out of Sandpoint. Well, let's see what that. Let's see what Sandpoint has. Again, we're not going to jump on a job just yet. But what does Sandpoint have to offer here? A knuckle boom loader, wood shavings, tractor, stumper, bulldozer, sawdust panels, log stacker, used packaging, fertilizer, empty pallets. Forwarder, log harvester, pelleted animal food, used packaging, and mortar. So they don't really have much. Cordialine, I can pick up a boat. I'm gonna boat, I can get a double. Um, used packaging going from Cordialine to Fort Collins, Colorado. Ooh, back to your, your HQ, right? Yeah. Mooring buoys, buoys. That's a, not a very expensive one. But what about Spokane then? If you drive into Spokane, you know what? I think I'm going to end it here. Oh wow, this has been a long session. I didn't realize that's yeah. about an hour and forty minutes already. Tell me about it. I got. Uh... Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is just my truck stop. I'm calling her quits. Yeah, I'm going to go over to this rest area here. And I'm going to call it quits myself. So let's go ahead and take the run over there and we'll shut her down for the night. Okay, here we go. We got some rain. Let's turn our headlights on. Um, let's get those wipers going. Let's try to go around the back. Start the yawn. Okay, let's find a new route. Police car following me. Turn left. See some my California plates. <laughs> All right, my Nevada plates. Exit. Coming in the exit? Here we are. Safe and safe. Alright, let's see. Where do I... I can park in one of these spots back here. I don't even know if I need gas, but I'll get it next time. I'm going to actually stay at the hotel there. I'll just park the truck and get myself a hotel room. I think... I think the Beebles pay me enough to bring for a hotel room. All right, back in the car. And if I call this up, I can, yeah, okay. So we'll turn this off. Headlights off, I mean, uh, wipers off. Headlights off, we're gonna shut the engine off. Oh, well, uh, parking brake engaged. Didn't I? Yeah, I know. Parking brake engaged. We'll shut the uh, shut the engine off, and then we're going to go ahead and rest. That's what we're doing. Us right here. <laughs> All right, five eleven. We got five thousand three hundred fourteen from Natalie P. And Natalie P has leveled up. I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing. Uh, it's like a a tale of two different companies. <laughs> <laughs> My drivers here are doing killer. Uh, Alice C is at a 2.5, Michael K is at a 1.7, and Natalie P is at a 0. 0.8. I think she runs my Flagstaff office, and she's working with Michael K. And like I say, Michael K may be... I may be able to move him to Fort Collins and work with Natalie P if I buy another... I wind up buying another uh, garage out here. And then I can just transfer myself over here. Uh, uh, it looks like they let you 
range this camera out a little further. We'll just take a quick look at what they got here in uh, Sandpoint. Sandpoint to Denver. Uh, a knuckle boom loader. Uh, knuckle boom loader to Denver. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> Lamar, Colorado. So we got some choices, folks. So tune in next time and we'll uh, figure out where we're going to go and what we're going to do next. So uh, like Tommy just said, I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for watching and we will talk to you next time. Have a good one. Bye. Yeah.